an 83 years old lady present to the clinic with early satiety on examination she is found to have massive spilinomegaly what is the most likely underlying cause here the options options are acute lymphoblastic leukemia acute myelomonocytic leukemia acute monoblastic leukemia chronic granulocytic leukemia and epstein bar virus infection so first of all let's see the clinical picture it is early society why early society because there is huge or massive splenomegaly and a spleen is developing massive for massive splenomegaly the time required shorter time or longer time it is usually required the longer time here we can see this is a huge spleen present and it is the after surgery and there see the splenomegaly the enlargement of the spleen can commonly accompany varying hematological disorders such as the hemolytic anemia and chronic leukemia so hemolytic anemia and chronic leukemia they are chronic condition so in this condition there is huge splenomegaly also there is acute hematological condition but not tends to cause the massive splenical enlargement in case of acute condition any type of the acute condition usually not massive splenomegaly massive splenomegaly usually develop in the chronic condition infection of the parasites such as the malaria epstein bar virus they are also responsible for the splenomegaly but they also not cause this type of the huge splenomegaly and may be associated with a spontaneous splenic rupture and portal hypertension also developed due to splenomegaly also there is a term which is known as the splenic atrophy and this typically occurs as a result of condition that impair blood flow to the spleen so when there is impair blood flow to the spleen in this condition spleen will be destroyed or vanish division of some major vessel can cause shrinkage of the spleen and commonly seen after splenic artery aneurysm are coiled so in case of massive splenomegaly what are requires they are requires a long standing disease or there is the chronic disease so it is common findings of the chronic leukemia or chronic granulocytic leukemia or any type of the leukemia which is chronic and it is rare in epstein bar virus because epstein bar virus there may be splenic rupture but the is massive splenomegaly usually uncommon so massive splenomegaly what is the cause we have to find the chronic cause first of all acute this acute we should give cross the acute is not the cause the epstein bar virus infection which is also the acute condition only chronic condition is the chronic granulocytic leukemia